Hey guys, I'm Johnny with Johnny Brennan Filmwork, and I thought I'd say hey, and hope you're doing well, and I wanted to take a minute to catch you up on all that's been going on in this past week. As I shared in a previous episode, um, I've been working on this film called The Chariot here in Little Rock, and it was a very short shoot. It was a 20-day shoot. We had a big name actor, John Malkovich. We wrapped uh, a couple days ago in Jasper, Arkansas. The weather has been kind of crazy down here. I unfortunately did not finish the last two days of this production due to uh, the possibilities of us having bad weather, which it's snowing today. We had a slight ice storm pop in last Wednesday night. I opted to stay in Little Rock while everybody else went up to Jasper to finish this film at a uh, local cabin up there. But I do want to say that I had an incredible time and it was a incredible learning experience. People I've met, the AD team I worked with, I was a key set production assistant, so I was right there on set. Anyway, back to the arts. A few days ago, I shared a micro short on my YouTube page. It was called Silent Night. And if you're wondering what a micro short is, well, I'm about to tell you. A micro short is a short film that's generally between one to five minutes long. It can vary. Some film festivals say that their micro short selections are anywhere between one to 10 minutes long. Some film festivals say their micro short selection is one to three minutes long, regardless. Micro shorts are very, very short films. And if you're just getting started, you want to make a movie and you haven't made a movie, it's best to start small. And I think making a micro short is an incredible way to get started. So I'm going to tell you how we came up with our idea and how we put it together within 24 hours. Because of COVID and everything else, we wanted to keep this safe and simple. So we knew that we we're going to have one location and one actress. Myself and my leading actress, Carrie, walked around her apartment complex and we noticed that there was a lot of really cool long hallways, very reminiscent to The Shining. We did notice that there were weren't a whole lot of outlets where we can plug in at. As far as my lighting system goes, um, it was going to be difficult, not to mention the possibility of people walking in and out of the hallway. And we wanted to limit our contact around other people, so we opted to shoot inside her apartment. And it was super simple. We didn't write a script. We basically just brainstormed. Like, what would it be like if there was a lady who was home during Christmas and she heard a knock on the door, but she wasn't sure what it was? And so from there, we just shot movement. It's really, really easy to build atmosphere in a film, um, especially a micro short. You can pretty much do anything you want to in it. But I wanted to make this film as cinematic as possible. And so lighting um, played a huge part in that as well as sound design because our sound design was very minimal. For quick shoots or quick edits, I usually go to Motion Array and that's where I get my stuff at. So thanks again for hanging out with me. And um, yeah, if you haven't ever made a short film, start with a micro short. It's small, it's easy, it's short, and you can do some pretty amazing things in such a small amount of time. You don't need to write a script. 
you can just come up with an idea, then you are set. And I'm actually gonna share a micro short I made back in 2015 called Stranger Than Paradise. And it did really well in the festival circuit. My leading actor is an actor here in Little Rock named Jason Willie. He's my frequent uh, collaborator and one of my best friends. And you may have recognized him in a Nuka Zuka short film called Mario vs. Minecraft. If you have not seen that film, I will share the link uh, down below and it's got over 90 million views on YouTube and um, yeah I actually cast that. Thanks again I will be back next week and now that we've wrapped this film I'll be able to have a better schedule of getting these films out on Friday. Thank you for being here if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe and uh, Wednesday I will have a new video up and um, I hope to see you then so until then we'll see you soon.